I invite you to watch this movie. If we were to maintain good health, then we must do some exercise every day. Depending upon our abilities, circumstances and requirements, each person can choose the kind of exercise he wishes to do, either at home or outside. If we have a machine like this at home then we can do our exercise quietly This is another kind of exercise that will fit for people who are over 40 years of age We must avoid doing any exercise that will strain us very much After the exercise we check our pulse rate and if it is over 160 that is too bad and the blood pressure should not be over 160 systolic and 90 diastolic we also check our rate of breathing and if the reading is over 80 per minute then it is bad These exercises have been compiled by me and I found them useful to move all our muscles and joints. The exercise that I am going to perform now is for testing our balance when we stand on our head. These exercises have been compiled by me in order to make movement of all the joints, muscles, back neck and all the limbs <music> exercises and activities are as important as restricted diet if the body weight is tending to increase then it is necessary to reduce the amount of food starting from reducing the sugar content in the diet Also sweets cakes and chocolates can be reduced next the amount of starchy foods should be reduced if the food contains too much of fat then oils butter and ghee should be reduced merely by exercise and activity the weight will not come down the amount of food also has to be reduced to lose weight the first complication of being overweight is high blood pressure If our blood pressure remains high for a long time day after day then the complications of high blood pressure will begin to appear stroke arteriosclerosis heart attack or heart failure and kidney failure are the major complications of high blood pressure it is difficult to advise uh, a particular diet to reduce weight but fruits and vegetables and milk are stomach filling low calorie diet i often replace a regular meal with a cut fruit bowl and a glass of milk only a health conscious person will try to know what diabetes is M- most of the people who got diabetes have come to know of it only after either they had a health problem or they had a routine blood sugar test done for something else a child is brought to the hospital in coma and a routine blood sugar test reveals that he or she has childhood diabetes a man comes to the dentist for tooth extraction and 
when he gets a blood sugar test done on his dentist's advice he might detect that he has high blood sugar level a pregnant woman goes to a obstetrician for a regular checkup and when a blood sugar test is done it might reveal that she has diabetes a man who has is either mother or father with diabetes might keep checking his blood sugar every year and then come to know whether he has got diabetes or not a doctor will tell you if you or your child has diabetes or not only after he gets your blood sugar test done repeatedly diabetes is dangerous because it can cause complication such as kidney disease heart disease liver disease cataract etc now what is diabetes diabetes is abnormal increase in blood sugar level the blood sugar level in our body is regulated by a complex mechanism it involves not only the pancreas but also the liver and the muscles there are many body chemicals called the hormones and enzymes which act to either increase or decrease our blood sugar level insulin is the hormone that regulates blood sugar the starch and sugars that are absorbed from our stomach and intestines are converted into plain glucose because in the form of glucose it can be burned to produce energy required for action by brain muscles bones heart and all tissues and organs the pancreas has got special cells called islet cells which produce insulin and other hormones required to regulate the blood sugar if the pancreas is defective or non functioning in the child then the childhood diabetes develops if the pancreas is diseased and the islet cells are damaged then also enough insulin may not be formed to regulate blood sugar level if the need for insulin is too much like in a obese person then also blood sugar regulation becomes faulty when liver and muscles fail to utilize the glucose formed then then the excess glucose gets converted into fat this fat is deposited in the body to cause increase in body weight if the person eats a lot of food then the starch and sugars that are absorbed may have to be stored in the form of fat tissue also the increased turnover of glucose into fat requires more insulin thereby creating a deficiency of insulin deficiency of insulin and its action results in rise in glucose level in the blood so not all blood glucose could be converted into fat excess glucose remains in the blood giving rise to a raised level at test now let me talk to you about kidney disease in diabetes there are two kidneys they are located in the back of the abdomen high level of glucose becomes poison for the kidneys in diabetic nephropathy kidneys get damaged and can no longer throw away waste products such as urea and creatinine the damaged kidneys raise the blood pressure so that the heart gets overworked overworking heart gets enlarged high blood pressure also causes arterial thickening sooner in diabetic patient than in the normal people the process of thickening of the arteries is called atherosclerosis a normal artery has no blocks arteries of the heart are called coronary arteries and atherosclerosis of the coronary arteries is known as coronary artery disease coronary artery disease can lead to blocked blood supply to the heart producing death of the heart muscle known as myocardial infarction